At this time, I'd like to open the meeting of uh, the Conservation Commission for uh, January, February 13th, uh, 2019, and it is a um, working uh, meeting to discuss uh, bylaw changes. That's our order of business and our only business. Okay. That's all right. So. If well, I may, through, oh, go ahead. Brooke. Well, I have two that that I want to do that we can we can do you know for this town meeting. I think there's two fees that are, that are in the bylaw that we don't even that we don't collect. And so when people read the bylaw, we end up getting checks for these fees. They're called for, for administrative fees, but we already have the bylaw fees, so they're not really they're not needed. So we I, we, could, we can just get these out of the bylaw. You know what I mean? In other words, okay, I'll tell you where they are. Determination under, of applicability, okay. right here. Yeah, under 9.2.2.1. Number four. Four? Yeah. The $35 fee? Yeah. That we have a $75 fee for when somebody files an RDA. So I don't know what that thirty-five dollars is. It says co cover administrative costs. We never collect that. And so sure, should that just be changed just to seventy-five? Well, we we could get, but is we've got. We already have a fee schedule. Elsewhere? Yes, it's on a fee schedule. But it's not in. So is this the only place it appears in the bylaw? For the, th uh, yeah. For any fee. Yes. Then it has to stay in and, and be adjusted to, be to seventy-five. Yeah. Otherwise, they don't have to pay the seventy-five at all. It needs well, to be in they, the bylaw. Well, Oh, but none of well, hang on, no, 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 because the other bylaw fees aren't in the the other fees that we collect are not in this bylaw. They, they're on a, a they probably should be a fee schedule. They probably should be on the bylaws. That's yeah. the so okay. so we could we could leave them leave them on the fee schedule also, but put them in here. It's just a, a duplication. So put the fee schedule into the bylaw. That's possible. Do that too. You mean just get yeah. the yeah. So we don't could, forget our Las Vegas. So I think trip, we could uh, get Dick. maybe get rid of this this here and then just add the the. I just changed the, the thirty five to seventy five. I agree with you, Alan. I think that's the best. I think that's the simplest yeah. thing. Change the thirty five to seventy five. All right, but then, so then under notice of intent, we're going to have to list all the category fees. That's fine, there. but okay. this is in the bylaw that it's a seventy five dollar fee, which is what it currently is. All, right. all we're doing is updating this number. I'm, I and I. Hmm. I think we could get rid of to cover administrative costs, though, because it's not. It's it's really just the it's the bylaw fee. I, I don't know. It's that's that's what it's for. It's, it's still administrative okay. costs. Sure. Okay. So the the thirty five should get changed out to seventy five dollars. Okay. Two point one. In order for it to be current. Two point two one. Tell me again what it is. Top of page four. Nine point two point two point one. Four in parentheses. There are no page numbers. But okay. So change thirty-five. It's item number four. Change what? Item number four. Yeah. See, mine says twenty-five dollars. I got this off the website. Oh, great! All right, so it's going <laughs> to twenty-five dollars to cover administrative costs. Yeah, that's oh my it. god, that's the wrong thing then. Yeah, right. That's what do we an have? antique version. Yeah. Filing procedures. Is that what it's under? Yeah, but that's a lot. Let me see what I don't she's know what got. the $25 okay. as long is. As you tell me what to put. You these for her. She, you can have, well, you can have these after. I, no, I don't. No, I'm good. I'm I good thought, as long as you tell me. So. Okay. Hmm. 9.2, number 4. I'm sorry, not that one. 9.2.2.1. Right here. She's got $25. Right. I don't know why. Determination that the bill is a company. Yeah. That's the same thing. That's what I got off the website. It's number four. I don't know. If, yeah, cover governing document. She's yeah, good. that should be seventy-five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which okay. is the current. So yeah. So if it's if it's all right. Yeah. Which is so the current. Thirty-five to seventy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's the other the, thing you had. Okay. So then go go to the next section. Right, I, is that the only fee accompanied with? Yeah. The for for request for determination. Yeah. Okay. So then under nine point two. Point two, point two. Notice of intent. Yeah. Number five. Number five. We never collect the seventy dollars, but each when you file a notice of intent, the category depending on the category of the project, like a category one is you know there's a bunch of different categories for the activities. Under the bylaw fee, it's one hundred and forty. If it's a category two project, it's two eighty. If it's a category three project, it's 
2,843. Uh, I can't remember. But anyway, there, there's different ones for different yes. categories, so we'd have to list all those, I think, probably here. I just would put down... Or we'll go per category. Don't have to do that. Plus an additional cost of... Or plus an additional cost... Um, C appendix. From well, it says that. You could say see the appendix. Yeah, we could say depending on the you know the category of the project yeah. or something. Well, it says the notice of intent shall be accompanied by a filing fee, the amount of which shall be determined by 801 CMR 4.02310 right. Executive Office for Administration. That's the that's the filing fee, right? Yeah. That's well, the state and town filing fee. Additional cost so, of seventy. But then the additional cost of seventy dollars. So isn't seventy dollars? It's like one hundred and forty for a category one. It's two eighty for a category two, plus seventy. Okay. No, we don't just get rid of the seventy. We, then we don't even collect that right. because we've already Why got don't? another fee, an additional pi bylaw fee, and it's based on the category of the project. So, so here you would just take it out, it out, right? Yeah, take mm. take it out, or possibly bring in, add those in, saying um, rather than plus an additional, the cost would be. Uh, for category one, so on and so forth. We could just list yeah. the categories right here. Yes. Plus yeah. additional. You want to do that? I, I think mean, that would you know, be, I yeah. mean, just say, say, you know, plus an additional cost of, um, you know, we could say, yeah, one forty for category one, you know, two eighty for list them, list them right here. Would it be possible just to simply call it appendix something or other? Or you could, and you could add the. Oh, add I, the actually, I like Jim's idea to put it right in that list. Right. Yeah. yeah. How many categories are there? Um, I think there's five. All right, wow. yeah. so plus an additional cost based on the chart below. Yeah. There you go. Okay, category one, two, yeah. and put it right here under this mm -hmm. thing. Additional cost. Based on the chart based. below. Okay. That way you yeah, can always that, find it. Yeah, the $70 never got, never got collected because we had the other, you know, the regular bylaw fee, so it's kind of, right. I don't know. Okay, and okay. then we just put in the chart. And then, yeah. then you, and the chart would go before it says payment shall be in the form of a check or money. Yeah. Okay. So we will put the fee chart right there. Okay. Okay. Right. Those are my two. And those are the only fees that we charge. So it's the only place we have to deal with oh, fees in hang this on. bylaw. Number six. Notice of potential be accompanied by a check of money and made payable to the local newspaper. That's not true. When somebody files, they fill out an authorization form. And that gets sent to the paper, and the paper bills the people. So we never get a check for the newspaper. We don't want checks for the newspaper. So the newspaper f bills the people. And they accepted that? They wouldn't accept mm. that over in Plumpton. We used oh, to. Oh, they, yeah, they we do we here. We used to they call checks and to send to the paper. Right. No, Marlene changed that, right? Uh, I uh, uh, since I've been here, it's always yeah. been like that. Okay. There's an authorization form yeah. that the applicant fills out. We fax that to the newspaper. Then the newspaper bills them. takes that information and bills the applicant directly or the applicant's engineer. Really? Yep. So that, should that replace what's here now? Probably. What you just said? Mm. How about the notice of intent shall be accompanied by an authorization? Mm. Mm -hmm. By the authorization form, which will be sent to the newspaper, right. and, right. and the by an authorization to, you know, a promise to pay by an authorization for the local newspaper designated by the commission to cover the publication costs, and then maybe a secondary, you know, you will be billed for this cost or whatever, something like yeah, that. The well, the paper, the paper will bill the applicant. Mm. Seems pretty silly to me, but okay. Yeah, that's how they do it. I know. I don't, I'm not sure why they do it that way either. I don't think planning does it that way. All right, so just explain right in here what what happens. Shall be accompanied okay. by, by an authorization, an authorization form. form. Yeah, there you go. An well, authorization form. Accept that. Why not? Yeah, yeah, for the purpose of the publication costs. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, all, and the cost will be billed to the applicant. Yeah. Billed to the. Yeah. To the applicant. Okay, so we'll get rid of the check to the. For the purpose of an application cost, is that what you said? Uh, well, the. Well, the uh, of the publication costs. Publication costs. What yeah. about this? The notice of intent shall be accompanied by an authorization form to cover the publication costs required. Okay. To cover the publication that, yeah, costs? Yeah, so you're, cutting, you're getting rid of the second line in that paragraph. Yeah, that's fine. Right after by mm -hmm. an author, authorization form to, and then go to right to cover the publication costs. Cover the publication costs. Actually, you need to put the, I think you need to put the word to be billed. Yeah, well, that would be form. after it. The applicant will be billed directly by the newspaper. Okay. By an authorization to... 
Okay. And the applicant would understand that he's right going to be billed because we get service. we get checks for the newspaper all the time, and then we just have to give them back to him because, like, you know. Okay. So applicant, okay, we'll right. be billed directly. Okay. Was there anything else? I don't think so. I don't think I have anything else in this. Well, you don't have any more stickies on your things. So. I know. <laughs> okay. Person who showed busy affidavit. Yep, that's true. So those are my administrative things. Okay. My your turn. My red. My red type in all of this thing. But it's all in red. It's all. In red. <laughs> I know. A lot of it is. Yeah, I like it. We'll make a little uh, note for the red sea savory. <laughs> this was this was all all kind of born out of the invasive species task force that we're on because mm -hmm. I felt that that offered an opportunity since they're going to be putting the warrant in on what they want to do. I yep. felt that that might be an opportunity for us to um, clarify, our, clarify our our bylaws and uh, tweak them, not only to make them a little bit stricter, but tweak them enough so that, they c that the current bylaws can't be pulled up again as something that has set precedent. I, I, my feeling was that oh, yeah. if we change the bylaws just enough so that if someone comes before us and says, well, you let them do it, that mm -hmm. we can go, that was with last year's bylaws. These are the new ones. Mm -hmm. We're starting over again. Yeah. So that was where this pretty much started. And uh, Brooke and I spoke about it a little bit, and Brooke, Brooke uh, found the situate um, wetlands bylaws, which are uh, quite stringent and have a lot of um, a, a lot of bylaws relating to uh, f uh, tidal waters, which we don't have here. Right. But there were, were an, an awful lot of good things in there for freshwater yeah. wetlands as well. So basically what I did to, and, and this, this basically, anything in red is changes to the Carver bylaws. The, everything in black already exists in right. Carver. All right. So the first one, you can see that um, what I wanted to do, what I thought we might want to do, is to uh, uh, between 165 require a variance. Which one? And nothing. And nothing. Oh. What the heck was that? God. What was that? Somebody sneezed. No. Uh. And nothing in the 65. Hardship only. So he's still. What is that? Uh, it might be a wire under the desk. Oh, oh. Jeez, whoop. No, he's not moving. That thing? <laughs> he's sound asleep. Not one of mine. All right. There's a wire under here. I might have kicked that by mistake, that one. Uh, maybe. That would do it. Oh, sorry. Stop kicking the wires. Yeah. Okay. Stop. So 65 no disturb and then between the 100 and the 65 a variance. That's what my thought was. Because the state laws say no alteration within 100 feet. And alteration is, their definition of alteration is, is basically says anything. don't touch it. Right. So, I mean, we're kind of letting people have a 35 foot grace period and we're not really stopping a lot mm -hmm. in that. In that 30 between the 100 and the 65 it's basically they come in with a notice of intent we say yes or no they're not asking for a variance um, so it's well you oh. so you want a variance from anything within 100 100 feet from a yes a, a variance from 100 to 65 as opposed to just a yes or no because now we only require a variance within 65 Right. So what do we do with the 65 and under? We 65 have a second is becoming of no Sig disturb. No, no. There's going to be instances when we don't have a choice. It's a hardship, and that's that's what that's, call the hardship. that's stated so that in that here. That would require a if second you, variance. If you look at four, number four in red. All the way down to number four. I read it. You're right. That'll work. However, but 
that's for filling do doing work in wetlands. Right? No, no, it's on on the edge. Oh, uh, no, you're you know you're right. You're right. It's number three. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, sixty. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Appointed within sixty fifth of a buffer. Okay. So, so anybody that, you, that comes before us is going to need a variance. Pretty much. For a hundred feet. Well, yeah, because that's uh, other than. Other than See, a, that's river, the thing. I, that's the thing. I think bank. Michael is, is having an issue with, and I think Kevin Ford was too. I think he was saying that the the state regs don't say you can't do anything. They just say you can't do anything without a permit. And so most people, most of the time, you get you get a permit for work within 100 feet. Then what does the state law that says you can't alter within 100 feet mean? Oh, it, well, it says it, but it just and then it says without a permit. Then a variance yeah, it's, it's always so circumvents that. Without a notice. Right. Yeah. Without a note. Without filing. I don't know why. It doesn't say you can't do anything. It just says you can't do anything you without filing. You can simplify all this wording by just saying that everything that we do from here on in is going to require a variance under the 100 foot mark in the wetlands well so that if we decide to give somebody a permit for a variance because they're infringing and we need to give them a 50-foot break then that's the same variance as if someone comes and needs you know us to give them a five-foot break because they're 95 feet the right but then you get then you start setting precedent again I, which is why I think we need a hardship variance inside but then we have to define hardship and it, I've done that yeah I appreciate that but I then tomorrow it. there'll be a new hardship that wasn't in the definitions that we didn't catch, so I, I think that's that's a, that's kind of like what planning board is well, going through with craftsmen, trademen, etc. Mm. <laughs> We're having an issue with the word etc. Mm -hmm. So as they try to define that, what's going to happen to the one trade they leave out? Okay. You know, well, okay. I think we have the right to determine the hardship on our own at a meeting with the applicant by asking questions like we always we do now is the I've heard you say this many times is there any way you can move this over five feet yeah right, and right. a lot of times we have people say well geez yeah we can do that well here's what it says for hardship a condition wherein the applicant would suffer a financial burden would be placed in danger or has proven that all other possible solutions have proved undoable the applicant cannot have developed plans for a parcel which, which automatic. automatically creates that a hardship sense. situation. That makes sense. So you can't buy a piece of property knowing that the only place to put a house is within 65 feet and then come before us claiming a hardship. Okay. Right. I, I would buy that. Well, I'd say... I'd say... With, I, I, like the, I, I like the way it, the way it is now where it's 65 feet for a variance and anything outside of that 65 to 100, you have to apply for a notice of intent and meet the the intent rather than now what you're saying is everybody comes for us going to need a variance right away. Mm. No, not that unless they are Un within unless they can feet. keep it outside 100, within feet. 100 feet. Within 100 feet. Within 100 feet. Yeah. 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 But I, mean, I think what Savy's trying to do is kind of lock down the 100 foot mark a little bit more than we currently lock it down. And it's, it's encouraging the way we used to actually. It's the way we used to do it. It's encouraging people to stay out of the 100 foot. It is. And not even have to file basically or if right. they're outside 100 feet then have to I file. Think if you right. know you have to have a variance to go within the 100 foot. Okay then you're going to have no problems. You're not going to have somebody in here trying to get within 30 feet of it. Do you know what I'm saying? So the 65 mm -hmm. issue may go away. I don't know if it'll go away. Kevin um, in uh, buildings. Yeah. Uh, what's his last name? Port of Health. Port of Health. Yeah. Port, yeah. Um, he and I talked about this. Cause right. what he, when we had this conversation in the invasive species meeting, he his concern was not so much the the strictness of it, Mm -hmm. but the fact that it needed to be clear so that potential contractors knew what to expect. Oh, okay. Okay. And, you know, he, he's saying right now that, that there are contractors, the way it is now in that 65 to 100, mm. um, and, and also within the 65, <clears throat> that there are potential builders who are spending money to, to mark things out, hoping mm. that we'll let it go through. Mm. Right. So um, this this would clarify it for builders. They would have a yes or no right away, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't they wouldn't be buying properties on spec, mm -hmm. and there well, would be there right. would be less of an onus on our decision making 
you know I know we all try to be the nice guy mm. yeah. but at the same time you know we, we can't be nice to one person and not another right, right so and then we end up being nice to everybody and and yeah circumventing a lot of what these things are trying to uh, accomplish right. so anyway I, I mean I understand that these are mm. much str stronger and maybe this is something that we think about for a year or if we mm. find out if there's going to be a special town meeting in the fall for any reason right. we try to get it on then um, but I still think that we should uh, you know take a look at all this uh, all this so basically what it is and and uh, um, is is that between 165 you need a variance for any project right. you wouldn't have to be a hardship okay you know let us make a decision there because still 100 feet you're not supposed to alter it mm -hmm. put a variance in Should um, there be a cost attached to that? well there is there's a, a variance there's a fee for a variance right a fee yeah N not an extra one not that I no no nope, okay. they just have to request it it, I mean, they've already paid their notice of intent fees and things, but no, there's not anything. Okay. No extra so we fee. Think about that. Well, we don't want to get to the point uh, where. No, I don't want to. I don't. No, if it's not, not there, then no. I don't want to put it in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the uh, the second one, uh, what uh, what Situate did, and I kind of like the idea, is that they they consider vernal pools to be very special. Right. And they're Weymouth they're does that. To Weymouth does a two hundred foot around Vernal Pool. Situate does two hundred and fifty. They haven't gotten any. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Weymouth, they have a few. <laughs> so, what I did here, so and that's then, not unreasonable for Vernal Pools. Yeah. Right. So, but maybe uh, Brooke, you had said that it shouldn't be con it shouldn't be put in with rivers and streams. No, because with the uh, under the regulations of the. The 200 foot and the one the 100 foot from from you know the edge of a bank or the edge of a flowing river, that's a wetland. That's that's a wetland resource area. It's a riverfront area. You have a 100 foot riverfront area and a 200 foot riverfront area, and that's not a buffer. It's just it's a wetland. Mm -hmm. But then there's no buffer zone to the 200 foot riverfront. So what is the what does the law say you can and can't do? In the 100 foot, you can't do anything. Okay. Uh, uh, the hundred foot riverfront, it's a no disturb. And then within the 200, it depends on when the lot was created, there's a bunch of different things you can do. You, can, you know, it's pretty limited, but you have to prove your case. So I think, it, I think the riverfront stuff's probably good the way it is. Okay, you that's know? fine. So then we would just move the, uh, the, the last part of that sentence in number two about the vernal pool to move that up as a, a as a, an addition to number one. Yeah. Yeah, make make the vernal pool. Yeah, that's a good idea. Take it out of the. All right. Where? Uh, what what right paragraph here. are we in? Uh, right here. This. Right here. Right I, here. I don't see vernal pool in right there. Here. Okay, right. I just saw it now. Right there. Sorry. Right. Yeah. That, so move that, that line. From, move that. Um, so we'll put a two hundred foot buffer zone around vernal pools. Mm -hmm. Right, and put that. Move that up to number one. Right. To the end of number one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. Like, you don't have any paperwork at all. We, we no, got to get. We should have give her a coffee. She so can make coffee. But what I'm saying is, any changes that you're talking about, I don't know what they are to put them in here. I don't even we'll know. Give it. We're I'm gonna make. I'm gonna recess for a but couple minutes every day. I'm gonna try to get a copy of this okay. for her. Okay. But Savory already has it all in a word document, and it's. You know, word doc? in, if it's a word document, I, I can cut and paste it later as long as what that's he's what I put thought. in red you, that's what you're going to adopt you know right. what i mean i don't know how to well we're not going to adopt it tonight but it should okay. be it should be a, a part of the record right that's what i mean there, yeah. all right thank you i think i sent it from my computer so i may not have it on my phone hmm. can you get to a copy machine because the copy machine place is know. close Right now, what did I miss? Well, Second this page. This, this is how we're going to simplify. This is all we're really going to try to get onto this town meeting. Well, we're going to use the word invasive species, correct? Yeah. Well, there are other things we can do, but yes, we can do that. But but basically, for this town meeting, we're only going to do a couple of things because yeah. there's too much for, to try. Well, I to think adding the word invasive species will be pretty. We easy. can do that on page one. Yeah. Who? Page one. Page invasive one. Species? 
right. page one. Eight. What do we do on page two? Uh, well, that's the second thing that I gave you. Number numbers one and two would stay the same as they are with the red. No, no, as they are now. Okay. What? And, and okay. If, for this year, for okay. this All year's right. time meeting, right. right. okay. when you get to number three, that's no, that's the we single the piece of paper. Chip. That okay, I so what, but what are we doing with that vernal pool? That's going back up in the number one. We're going to take it out. We're not going to do it for this year. The only thing that we're going to do, try to do for this year oh, is. Oh, you don't have this one. If it is one and three. Page one. one and well, page we'll three. see if there. I mean, there. Are, we'll we'll so go time. through this. And okay, I'm, I'm with you. So, okay. number two, we're going to put the red in, but we're taking no. this last vernal no. pool out. For this year, we're leaving it alone. I'm one sorry. One and two Duh. are, are okay. we're not touching from yes, what sir. they are now. I got you. When you get to three, go to the single sheet of paper. Right here. You didn't get that. Yes, he did. He did. Well, I can't touch my paper. Where is it then? It should be a single sheet that looks like this. Well, I'm looking. Well, come on. <laughs> You're not taking it. Yell that again, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit over beside Tim. <laughs> I don't know where. Two over there. I, I ma made enough copies. <laughs> not grabbing mine. I think you got lost in the middle of all your stuff. Single sheet. See, this I one. Told yeah. you you had it. How about that? Oh. <laughs> all right. So here. Uh, Leave it to a truck driver. What we wow. do here. The the only changes are in red. On this one. Yeah. And what it does is it adds the word hardship to the variance within 65 feet. Okay. And then it changes what currently says um, shall not you know, no put in a building or impervious stuff, surface. Right. It changes it to, it to disturb by human activity, which means you can't touch it. Okay. Without a hardship variance. And we'll have to add the definition of hardship into this as well, but we'll get to definitions later. Yeah, and council will tear that one apart. They'll, they'll tweak that one. That's they'll tweak all. it. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, but at least to get it done to the town meeting before I'm good. the people right. tweaking. So uh, anyway, just moving on to talk about the you know the other things that I had here. Um, going, leaving this alone is what we're going to try to do this right. year. But going back to think about what we wanted, maybe want to do in on the, this one. Have we you guys decided on three? Um, we're getting to that now. Okay. Well, three is pretty much three. Make pretty changes. much mirrors what we're going to try to change this year. Three is this one here. Okay. The one, the things that would. Yeah, I mean, we can, so we can use. I got you. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Right. This just this. Yeah. Right, this just, this, uh, on the on the the larger three, it includes the word buffer strip, which is a new definition as well. But that doesn't have to go in for this year. Okay. All right. Um, the fourth one is. Uh, Except as permitted. The, per, the fourth one basically says you can't do anything in wetlands. Right. Fill wetlands and things. And right. It, but then it does say possibly with replication. But yes. Blah, blah, blah. So it's saying pretty much you can't, you know, fill wetlands. Not that's, right. This you is know, this is a buffer zone. This would be a something within a wetland within the yeah. wetland mm -hmm. itself. You're filling not, the wetland. Not with any of the sixty-five. Yeah. You know, I see several times the vista pruning showing up, and we had had a very strict policy of completely forbidding vista pruning in the past. And, forbidding uh, the vista pruning? Yeah, uh, because people find it something easy to manipulate. Well, I just needed to be able to see this, you know, a little vista pruning, and it's like 55 well, trees taken down. Mm. <laughs> I mean, if we want to get rid of it, we can. State law allows it. Big vista. And yeah, I, I, I put the, uh, I put the. And, and situate allows it, but they're very strict. They're, right. Their definitions are very yeah. strict about it. Yeah, the definition under the regulations is pretty no more than near ninety percent of the canopy, and you know only can't do certain, the understory. Right. Under, yeah, can't do understory. Uh, but um, situates, and, and we will get over. The, we can go through them if if we have time. Yeah, if, we don't want to be here all night. But they I have. I don't either. <laughs> they have four diameters of yeah. trees that you calipers. can't cut. Calipers Calipers. of trees right. you right. can and can't cut. Yeah. Well, is there enough state law that we currently follow to not have to bring up all the wording in number four this year at town meeting? I think uh -huh. 
So can we hold off on four? Yeah. I think yeah. that's going to get real complicated. Yeah, pretty much, well, that's why we're just going to try to do these two things for town meeting. We're not oh, even that's talking. It. I, that's oh, motion it. to adjourn? I just want to, I want to go through so we can yeah. think about the other things. No, I agree. I agree. All right. So this is stuff we can talk about during, you know. Kicking, you know. That's oh, you. isn't that me, Jesus? That is you. Oh, sorry. Stop that. That thing's always Somebody's here. toes are dancing back. underneath. Now get out from underneath that table. <laughs> you will. <laughs> Alan! <laughs> Don't you dare. You found some cold <laughs> beers down there. <laughs> Yeah, right. so this stuff we can we can think about as you yeah. know like yeah. The year. I mean, it since we're all here, we might as well just yeah. okay. might as well just go over it. It's your fault. Uh, <laughs> of course. Five is is. Um, That's what we've talked about the single ownership of the single barn. ownership uh, that you can't you can't build a residential dwelling within a hundred feet of a cranberry bog unless the residents and the bog are on the same parcel of land under singular ownership. I think we should try to put that in this year. It's very simple. It's quick. It's Fine. easy. Okay. It's not real involved, and everybody understands it. Okay. So, should we say that it should be maintained under singular ownership also? Unless the residents and the bog are under are on the same parcel. Under single under, ownership. Under singular. Ownership. So that's not somebody who's within a hundred feet of a bog that's like not on their property, like off right. their property. Right. But it's just it's when they're, you know, like the Mark Walker thing. No, protect yeah. the bog. But we, we, the question is. What if somebody ha has bought into something like that and then they want to sell their house separately? Mm, that's that's good. And question. that's why I say you just say you can't you can't do it. Sorry. Well, you but wouldn't be able can't. to subdivide the property out after the fact, is what I think yeah. Jim's getting at. Yeah. Yeah. Because I th I don't know if you can really say, well, you can't sell your house. And yeah, but you have no, to sell it with the bog. You'd have to sell, sell it with, with that the bog. bog. I mean, you yeah. wouldn't have to sell it with the 37 acres of bog you have here, but you'd have to sell it with, with the nearest bog near. that it's abutting to. You'd have yeah. to try to subdivide that out. Roger right. that. Roger right. that. Right. So I think that the two would have to always remain a parcel. So you, otherwise, you'd have everybody trying to get around that. Mm -hmm. We have a case in Carver off Meadow Street where this happened. There was, there's a house that is uh, real close to two bogs and it was supposed to remain together and somehow they didn't. They get separated, yeah. It's uh, right, so, so we want to do the, try to do that one then for this, for yeah. this meeting? Uh, land under single ownership and shall remain that way. Is number four right. being done? Is that, yep. is that clear enough, you think? And shall no. remain that I way. Add that. Okay. No. Miriam, we're going to add and must. Um, um, yeah, and must. Unless the residents and the bog are under the same parcel of land under singular ownership and must remain that so, way. Yeah. Or must remain so. Uh, whatever shall you guys remain want. that way or something. Well, he didn't want shall, so I, we must. said must. Must remain. Okay. Okay. And must remain that way. So that's going to be a change for 2019. We're gonna and this is, gonna, this is we're going to go for town meeting. And must remain as such. How's that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It That's must fine. remain as such. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. And that one we're going to do a town meeting. Yes. So that way they can't subdivide it so off. Number three is for the town meeting and number five is for the town meeting. Yes, but number three is off the single piece of paper. It's not what's written. I didn't get that single there. piece of paper. Yeah, it's, on the, it's at the very tail end of your whole shot there because Savory didn't put them in order. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it should be the last page. He didn't put them in order. Here, why don't you pass, pass the sheet to her? It was the last page of mine. No, 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 because I handed that out well, while you were making copies. That's he I handed that out when you were making copies. Oh, when I was making copies, I get you. Yeah. <laughs> Put a, put so is, a, does this, so these, is this the actual, when they do a warrant, I don't know anything about warrants. Do, is this what they put on the warrant? Yes. yes. Exactly what the changes were going to be. Yes. On the warrant. Yes. And the other thing that I wrote to you, wrote was called the... Um, oh, the informational. Informational summary. And that basically just gives an overview. Because they don't read the whole warrant. They just oh. said, this is what it's for. Oh, okay. How do you feel about it? Okay. So this will, this will have to be um, changed. Yeah. But not much. Yeah, create and preserve uh, a buffer strip, I guess. Well, I don't know if we want to put the words buffer strip in there right now. Mm -hmm. We can do that for next year. Thank you. All right, and on the first page, we're going to do add invasive species. Invasive yes. species. Yep. Yep. Town meeting, right? Yep. 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 And the second page, number three, is going to reference this long sheet. Three. Okay. Right, and just three. I didn't. 
You know, there's yeah. there's nothing else on that sheet that is important. Yeah. I just on the second page. And number five is just going to be the remain as such. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Now we're off to the races. Um, six. We can get rid of. Uh, we can change the vernal pools again, but there's nothing in there that says about 61A. No, I think I'd leave it alone just because it gets into the 200 foot, 130 foot, 100 foot buffer, 65 foot buffer strip. It's okay. going to get. But yeah. then, then, then we just, I think that we do is just take out that, the, that, that thing that is in the um, parentheses. The 200 foot right. through vernal pools. Okay. Yes. I just say except as permitted by the commission, which is our permission, which means they have to come before us. Right. That's all it then means. Then the 100 foot okay. on land which is zoned 61A. Six, land which is zoned 61A. Yep. That's, that's all fine. it's telling that's them is that they need to let us know. I think there's no we, variance. There's yep. no no notice of intent. There's nothing. Yep. Come and but tell we us. should say without except as permitted without notification or something. Right. I mean, it sounds like they have to file for the agricultural stuff, which they don't necessarily. We just need to be notified. Is that what you're thinking? Uh, uh, okay. You know what I mean? Because that sounds like they can't do anything except it's permitted by us, which well, means we can they end have that to come with after a, the word agricultural. With a, um, um, what, uh, so we just actually need to be notified about the agricultural things, not not a filing. You know what I mean? Not a formal filing. We want them to tell us when they're doing agricultural activities right Jim and they don't really need but they, it's not something that require right. a notice of intent which is zone 61a agricultural without notifying the commission in advance With mm. notification. yeah we could do that no person showing will fill without without notification of the commission in advance yeah, yeah. We all right so what do you think Jim sounds good I just have one question this 130 foot, where does that come from? Uh, that was, well, it, it was it, I, it was supposed to be for the, the doubling of the 65, yeah. but we, we're not going to do that now because, yeah. the, because the riverfront already has the 100 no disturb. That's right. So we don't want to confuse the 65 buffer and the, okay. and the, yeah, the 100 right. foot we will riverfront. Win. Yep, and I guess when we do the vernal pool, if we do that next year, it'll be 200 and 102 just yeah. to keep it. Yeah, even. yeah. Okay, so th this number six th should then be start with the word as correct as permitted as provided by this bylaw no person shall remove on land which is on 61 a uh, <clears throat> what did you say Alan as without provided notification. By the bylaw. Notification. without notification of the Commission in advance without so we don't get somebody coming in here after they after they get the spanking yeah to the Commission in Most. advance Yeah, because they, they don't, you know, they're supposed to do that now, and they don't. Sometimes then people call, and we don't know, and, we, and then we find out, oh, it's only the blog. The, last the guy's digging a canal yeah, for the blog, yards, but we don't know that. That's right. Because we've sent out a couple violation Get letters. Get that, Marianne, no? As provided by this bylaw, that's what's starting. After As provided by the bylaw, yep. Never and then after, after the word agricultural. Without notification to the so. commission in advance. Right. Yes. Right. Now the next, <laughs> the next one is the uh, danger. You know the people who come to us trees, yeah. f for trees. Um, except as permitted by the commission, due to a real danger to a structure as provided by this bylaw, no person shall remove on on and on and on. Uh, then it says owners of structures built after the enactment of these bylaws must adhere to a 10-year waiting period from the date of their COO before they can claim a tree is a danger to their structure. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. I can't do that. Yeah, I don't know how you can do that because what if the tree's dead you change the bylaw, at an earlier time in my than 10 years? Yeah, that dies two years from now and I can't come to you? Mm. Yeah, I don't, yeah, because... All right, you know what I'm trying to do. I'm I trying to have trying someone to who builds a house ten feet, feet from uh, yeah. ten feet from trees, or and then you know, say they're the guy on what's his name who had all the, that we saw in his backyard. That's right. Who wanted mm. to get the sun on his roof? Oh, right, right. You know that house is three or four years old. Right. Which was there? Where's Limbia's that? path? Oh, okay. I understand. Yeah. I know where you're trying to get with it. All but right. I think so I mean, we we'll work on this. So we're, yeah. that's not. We won't do anything right, with that. We'll, we'll work on that one. But I know but what you mean. That we definitely should put something about people trying to cut trees and saying we yes well, you'll, we have to go yes back. you can do it if it's a safety hazard. No, you can't if you, you want a view. 
then for the time being we can include in the bylaw that any cutting of trees within the hundred foot for any reason must be brought before the commission that's in there already well then we have to enforce it okay because it says we alter. had people after the last storm dave robertson who's well aware of the bylaws he still had gave us the courtesy of come out and take a look this right. is what i'm trying to take down because it's going to fall down and kill somebody and right. we have most people have you know quite a few right. people have done that and we yeah. did that for the little place on shaw road right, right. yeah and right. they never did cut the trees down did they I don't know if they did or not. The ones that were almost nailed the wires, you mean? Was it going to squash them little houses? If yeah. They well, yeah. I mean, ones at the north end. There. Number one says, says that. Right. Within 100 feet, you got to come to us. Right. Yeah, you can't alter. So, An altar is cutting trees. So. Uh, and so, that would fall under the hardship if we were to say no and you were to say, listen, this thing's going to fall over and hurt somebody. Right. You know. Right. Okay, it's, it's got to go. on the wires or. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we'll work on that for next year okay. to see if we can do something Number a little bit. Going in town meeting. Hmm? Number six, we're going to try to put in the warrant. Yes. Number seven, we're not going to no. do this year. Okay. Number eight was just something I picked up off situate, which gives us um, it gives us permission to waive the bylaws if there are ecological improvements, mm -hmm. such as when uh, the the house on Andrews Point, where. We allow them to do something closer right. to the water. Uh, the, you know, they we allow them to do something because they were removing a cesspool that was five feet from the lake's right, edge. Right. Right. So that's an ecological yep. win. Win. Yes, right. Yes, I so agree. that's something that's in there that just can. Mm. You know. Yeah, that's a good idea. It doesn't happen very often, but yeah. Right. Yeah. I think I have a problem at town meeting when you start talking about at our discretion can waive one or more of these regulations. You saw town meeting shoot down the planning board last year mm -hmm. when they tried to put in bylaws that gave them discretionary yeah. on the 50-foot setbacks for solar. Mm -hmm. And they said, town meeting said, no, 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 no. I think when you start getting into waiving one or more of these regulations, I think that the town does not want any board to be able to do that. <coughs> they don't like that wording. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's, it's, uh, I'm just, that's what I saw, that's Too what I heard. Power to the committee. You it's think right. I'm it's wrong, Jim? No, I think right. that's right. And at its discretion, because it's, it's what's really, that? It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't know. And I made this statement at the, at the discussions last year with the planning board. I said, listen, I trust every one of you guys. I don't know who's coming behind you. Right. You know, people in this town may feel very right. confident we'll in the current. If the, yeah, you mean if the board but changes? Who knows any? what's going to be here five, six, seven years from exactly. now? You mean if the board changes? That's what you're saying. The sure. Board map is changing, what right? if you get an ultra um, uh, liberal board in who mm. says, you know what? It's your land. You should be able to do whatever you want with it. And the right. whole board concurs. And they wave it. Sure. They fill in that wet land spot. We don't care. Now you got this discretionary mm -hmm. word in here. That well, then it's got to be. The, the right to do that. Then it's got to start. Uh, I mean, well, this won't be in this year. Yeah, I think. We, but yeah. it's got to start. Instead of saying the Con conservation commission may, ha at its discretion, that has to be at the end of the paragraph. It has to start by saying, if if proposed work potentially represents a significant <laughs> ecological improvement. Mm. Uh, right. So yeah. you start the, with the what commission is, may, is and its discretion waive. Yeah. I, I I would also. Uh, Avoid using that phrase at its discretion. Yeah, they I would, just even, say I may would wave. even use it. Right. Okay. I would use may wave. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I agree with Jim in that. All right. So uh, we'll work on that. So people won't go see this. it as the boards are getting too uh, right. too, too much. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you're right. It depends on who the members are. Well, who it absolutely does. Right. Okay. The rest of this is not touched till I think we get to definitions because those are the only things. Oh wait. Mm -hmm. um, you got the seventy-five dollar one, Marion. I did. Okay. And then uh, on the next page, I had some handwritten notes, so you'll have that copy. Mm -hmm. uh, number 14. As we're doing the chart uh, listing categories, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. Open right. the piece. 4. Yeah. That one. Yeah. 2.3.4. 9 point. It's site plan. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. the site plan. Which what what is number are we at? 9.2.3.3. All the way to 14 is enough. 9.2.3.3. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, we'll get rid of the uh, 200 and 130 foot, but uh, this is something that we had talked about because people were coming with... with well, we're sending them back to redo the plan. Well, yeah. the, the, we have a checklist, you know, of what things need to be done, and does it does say that we look at that today, Jim. Yes, but remember, I good. think the, I the like only that. thing difference was the, the 65 was red. Yeah, it was. And Not orange. A, a blue was mandated for the actual edge of the wetland. And blue was the, blue was the wetland. 
Um, 100 foot buffer is green, red is the 65, yellow is the 200 foot riverfront, purple is the 100 foot floodplain, and orange is the 10, <laughs> ten foot, 10 year floodplain. Flood right. Is that a chart? It's uh, it's on the like checklist. Was another checklist? How can we get it into this though, with all of those things? Oh, we, we could. I mean, I could just take it right off the checklist. Yeah. All right. Why don't we do that? And put it right in here. Yeah. Okay. So it's right. So, so just take off all all those all so those colors and everything will be all the same from the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Simply so the, do setback lines from the wetlands to be indicated per the checklist. Per yeah. Indicated below per the yeah. checklist attached per the checklist yeah. per the checklist. Right. Uh, that okay? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we'll take out the hundred foot setback and just put down setback lines, not hundred yes. foot. Just right. just yeah. setback lines. Setback yeah. lines, and then we'll just list them. You know, blue wetlands. To be indicated per the current checklist. Yep. To be indicated. Yep. Attached checklist. And then and then put them right in here. You want to do yeah. put them right in here? You sure. can. Yeah. Let's do that. Because some of the stuff in that checklist needs to be changed too, so that's a little bit different. But okay. All right. So per setback lines to be indicated per below. Per the uh, current checklist below. How's that? But yep. it's actually going to be different than what's written there. I have the checklist. Yeah, we're going to take that all out. So just say per checklist, and then that I, mm -hmm. I would add what we have on the checklist. So you're going to send me a copy of the checklist? Yeah, I can give you the the colors and everything. Mm -hmm. We're going to make Marianne work for and this And that one. one you want to put on? For I think yeah. so. For now? I think that can go in. Yeah. For this year? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's simple. It's, just, it's really more clerical yeah. than anything else. Right. Yeah. All right. Next would be definitions. Very quick to explain at town meeting so it'll go fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not asking. Who's paragraphs. You're not asking. Who's there. Right. You're not asking them for anything that's not... Now, the definitions, there are obviously a lot in here that we aren't going to put in this year because right. they aren't needed. Um, the reason I put a butter in here as a definition is because... Because of 196 tree month? Yes. We've been asked that a couple times, you're right. Well, the, did you ever find that? Per, we found the reference to it. It was 2012 mm. Mass General Law or, or DEP or not, mm -hmm. where it said that on... on parcels of land greater than X amount of acres yeah. that the a butter was considered well, it only had to be the, the abutting the, the, the work of the, of the work of the limit of work right and was that 50 plus acres was that in, was that in the regulations because we, we looked that? at we were looking for it I came into your office and you were scouring I know and then we found it and I'm trying to remember where we found it it um, was in a in a addendum like a 2012 addendum Oh, like a, a preface thing or something. Is that what it was? It was sort of like, yeah. Oh, shoot. No, I Go beyond the definitions. In there too. I, yeah, I don't know. If, no, I think it was definitions because I think we looked at that. No, it was sort of a separate piece of paper. Oh, shoot. I can remember now. Sort of like this is what's new this year, that kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was 50, though. So you're saying under this bylaw, um, well, the that people Tremont Street would not have been had to have been notified. They weren't notified, and they wondered why. The Pine Ridge people. The were. Pine Ridge people were not notified because the bylaw said that they were more than 100 feet from the, um, the project. From the project because of the size of the property itself. Hmm. Right, but that I mean this this basically we don't have to put it in here because it's state law. But you can drive by there and understand why they asked why we weren't notified. I mean, well, they were notified by by planning because planning right. is property line. This is not right. But they had no issue with us anyway. Well, it turned out they didn't because they worked well with uh, Borrego. But I mean, I thought that this, we could put this in there to make things more clear. But it, since it's state law, we don't need to include it. Oh wait a minute. Um. Oh, okay, here it is. Uh, okay, it is 50. Uh, uh, applicant who proposes land, uh, that's 50. Um, hang on. Applicant proposing a linear shape project greater than 1,000 feet in length required to provide notification only to abutters whose lot is within 1,000 feet 1, of the project feet? site. 
We didn't see that though. That wasn't. That doesn't right. Hmm. You know, we can we can ask Sarah. Because Sarah is the one who quoted. No, I can't read. Yeah. Sarah Stearns. Sarah Stearns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's the one who brought it up to the to the right. people at the meeting that night. And then you and I found it. I can't now. I can't find we it. We found a reference to it. I don't think we found the actual bylaw. Oh. I thought we found a reference to it. I think you're right. All right. So for the, we're not bringing this to town meeting anyway. Yeah. This yeah. Right we don't have we'll to. We'll wait on that one. All right. We'll uh, work on it. So we're not going to include the definition section. Well, okay. there are some that we have to include. Um, the next one is currently our uh, altar. The, it says altar in the bottom as it, for a definition, and the definition is itself on the next page. Oh, it is 50 acres. It, it is 50. Oh, yeah. It, it's the right. Means. Applicant proposes work solely within land and water bodies, waterways, or solely within a lot with an area greater than 50 acres is required to provide notification only to abutters whose lot is within 100 feet from the project site. There you well, go. Why do we have to include that in our bylaws? We have to follow state code anyway. Okay. Right. I was, it was done to clarify for people who okay. didn't know. Right. But it's, so I, and it's not needed. Right. And I, and I actually referenced this to Brenda, and then they, they were all fine with it after, we told, after I told okay. them that. But yeah. Right. So I just thought it would, you know. So yeah. we can dump that right out, right? Well, we can put it in next year. Okay. Because it, it helps clarify for people. Okay. We could even bring it in this year with the exact wording and the explanation is this is what's yeah. in the current state code. Okay. But now you start nah, getting don't, in. I think yeah. it's less important for yeah, this year. Yeah, it is. You know? right. I don't, I, if we stop bringing too much stuff in, we'll never get anything. Probably. Well, that's just it. I have nothing following altar here. It's on the next page. It's on the top of the next page. Mm -hmm. Should be. I thought this was... Nope. Let's see, maybe I got the pages out of order here. It stops by saying alter means to change. Mm -hmm. yeah, alter means to change the condition. So you want to include this one? Well, there are just minor changes that I think that... You missing a page, Jim? Maybe. Here it is. Found it. Cut out a sequence. Right? Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, so the things in red, and I think these are things that we had talked about earlier. Um, I like the introduction of non-native grasses, shrubs, shes, or other plantings. I think that's a big deal. Right, and we also added uh, walls um, as structures of any kind mm -hmm. because walls weren't in there. Yeah, um, and it used to say placing of obstructions or objects in water. So I added permanent because you know we basically allow right. temporary, the temporary docks. docks and stuff. Uh, so that would be. Um, How about? Oh, oh, that's repair, though. I was going to say, because, you know, all those people, those people that have come and said, oh, we're only, I, we, we, we were replacing the wall. We didn't think we had the file. So is re replacement the same as repair? Yes. It yeah. is kind of, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I just want to make sure, because that was like the Bennies, you know. They, well, it oh, says erection or repair. Yeah. So, yeah, being so a new if you're one. you're fixing or, it, right. that's a repair. Right. If you're putting a new one up. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, um... Right now, our bylaw says destruction of plant life, including the cutting of trees. I like that. And then adding shrubs, flowers, or grasses. No. Uh, introduction of non-native grasses, we said. So I would yeah, say I that, that, that yeah. we could do this one. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. good for the I'd invasive species stuff. Meeting. Yeah. That goes in with the invasive species yeah. stuff. Okay, so we're going to do that this year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, bog, no. We don't need that this year. Bordering. Bordering. Uh, this was just clarifying things. Yeah, this, this is all. These are all in the regs. Buffer so. strip is next year because that's the, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the language. Yeah. Um, I put in conditions, uh, and I this I think is probably something for next year because it it opens up a can of worms because of the fourth bullet point, which is lawns. Mm. So this is something I think to to lead to look through to think about how we might want to address this mm. yeah. for next year. But um, I mean, I know a lot of com commissions put in their in their order conditions, you know, no, you know, you use so you can only use or in or, you know organic fertilizers or you know, you can't use fertilizers, but that's very hard to enforce. This came, this came right out of situate. Word organic yeah, on that, I was, I'm thinking of situate. Yeah, but this, that's this hard was to enforce, cutting. though, because people are going to put the stuff, you know, Kemalon on if they want right. to, and nobody's going to know. Right. And when no one's looking, they're going to do whatever right. they want to do anyway. Yeah. And the bag that says organic's the one by the garage door, so when you guys show up, this is what I've been using. Right. Yeah. But it's really using the one that's you know. in the So room. anyway, this, this is something that we can <laughs> do I mean, next year. you can't year. stop that, no matter what. 
I mean, you can put it as a condition and hope that they read it. 24-hour surveillance cameras. Honest to God, yeah. <laughs> All right, the next one is hardship. And this has to go in because we mentioned hardship mm -hmm. yep. earlier. Yeah, yeah, to define it. Okay. Does, anybody, does, does everybody like I what I have no problem says? with that. I, yeah. I think that, that town council will look at that and Tweak get it. more tweaked on it just for the language, but yeah, I like that. Okay. So that's for so this the word year. hardship should go into the yeah. town meeting. Yeah, as a as a definition. Yes. Well, we, we have, have to because we're putting it in. We're putting it in this right here, so we really kind of have to define it. You know, I mean, we're, we're going to. Well, put that's it what in I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Limit of work doesn't have to go. Um, wouldn't get involved in replication. This nope. Year. No, I, I just put these in because they were there and they oh, had more information. Right there. Well, replication. There's a lot, of this, and there is those whole already in. standards that, like, do it now. the DP has standards for replication stuff. That right, people go by. Right, right, but they're. This is right out of the book. But this is good to have in the bylaw, but not necessarily right now. And Tim's always asking, "Where's that quarter right. of an inch of dirt you're taking out for this solar panel? Where are you going to re replicate that?" <laughs> And I don't, and I never knew anything about that till you brought that up, and I'm glad you did. Paddock had to do replication of his bog, you know. He had to create a little more bog because of this. Yeah, you know, I found out replication. Let it all die anyway. I found that most <laughs> replications don't work. They don't. They don't work. The, this, this, this. Uh, Which is you why that you really can't create wetlands. Mm -hmm. They either are or they aren't. I mean, yeah. you can get an area wet. And so. you can make it look like it's a wetland, but it's not. It doesn't have the true characteristics. And the problem is of nobody wants. It hasn't been there for 500 but, years. But they don't want to spend the money to to try to make it right. You have to right. dig it to the right elevation. You got to, you know, you have to hold. You have to have the whole hydrological connection and everything. And, and really people like just don't do it. They just they dig a hole and hope it fills in with wetland grass. Well, if you look at number three under replication. Uh, and this is right out of situate. Areas up to 2,500 square feet may be destroyed with application at least twice that of well, area A lot lost. of towns make you double. If, they double they, if you it. fill 500, you've got to replicate 1,000. Yeah, so that's yeah. something we can think about oh, for, definitely. Next, for next year. Yeah, yeah, two to one. So all of replication will go for uh, next year. Yeah, two to one replication. That's, uh, that's next a good year. One. Um, river, we don't need. No, because that's pretty well defined. Uh, vegetative wetland, we don't need. No. That's that's long, but I took that out of the situation because it, it just clarifies things. Yeah. Um, let's see. Is there any vernal well, pool? We don't need this year. We, this, huh? we don't need vernal pool this okay. year. Probably not. We're yeah. not doing anything with it. Vista pruning, and I took this right out of. Yeah. So that's right out of the rigs. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I would put it in there. This year. Because it it's unless because we don't have anything that bans it right now. Right. Our bylaws don't say vista pruning is not allowed. Right. So was this the argument that was given from the condos when they wanted to see the mm -hmm. the pond yeah. at Samson's yeah. Pond? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that Harju house that's off of one pond. Uh, he, uh, oh, off of uh, 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 Wenham Road. Right? Yeah. 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 Right, but I mean, right here, if you look at the last words of the of Vista pruning definition, it says, does not include the mowing or removal of understory brush. Hmm. The guy today at Wareham. He, 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 he went hmm. in there with a weed mm -hmm. one. Right here, it says you can't do what he did. Right. By so, the river there, you mean where we cut? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, do Wait, we want to include forward. Vista pruning hmm. as a definition? Hmm. I think so. Uh, and it came right out of the mass reg, so right. it's not. So you know what? That makes it easy. So we're, the, the, the Vista pruning is just to bring these bylaws in conformity with the mass regulations, 310 CMR 10. Right. As soon as they hear that at town meeting, they tend to glass over their eyes and they say, okay, because they know it's just defining a current yeah. law. We're not creating no. more burden. No. Right. Uh, and this, the thing this, is, you file, you know, you well, file this law with, is the law. Right. And you file a DP the same time you file with us, so they get in the copy okay. of everything anyway. You know what I mean? So they, so they already know. So this portion of Vista pruning. Yeah, is, is out of the Stopping ranks. short of the wetlands resource is going to be a town, a, in the warrant. Okay, and that's right out of the regs anyway. So That's right. right. It's part of the regulations, makes it real easy to define. Uh, wetland. Wildlife could be, you know, your ex. Anything like that. Well, wildlife, we don't need to put it in this year. The reason I added it in there, it says at the end, the preservation of indigenous vegetation, including dead trees and dense understory, is essential to the support of wildlife populations. So that's something we can think about yeah. for next year. But it basically gives us a little... Well, they didn't think they that it's the truth. Control about it. Yeah, in other words, if a tree falls, leave it. Yeah. Because it's habitat. 
Yeah. <laughs> but did it make noise if nobody was there when no. it fell down? Oh. No. Yeah. Oh, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the, the last page on this is the informational <laughs> summary. <laughs> yeah. let you hear no What's that? Oh, this informational summary? The informational summary is what goes into the warrant to, to sort of okay. briefly explain what it's going to do. So would, do, would, do, so would I give this, like, say we get this, this. Would I give this to Elaine? Does she write the warrant? I don't know what the hell no, how you that give works. No, give this, my recommendation would be you give this to Michael. Michael will then send this over to council. Council will look at the wording of all and this then stuff. Put this in the form of yeah. a warrant and send it back. Oh, that's how that. So works. all these changes are I give to him. All these changes yeah. go to Michael, and Michael will send them to council. Council will work word them over, and Michael then probably send them back to me. It's if he no, he <laughs> no, it's not a lot. Well, I mean, there's not a lot, and no. and council will tweak the wording if it needs to be tweaked, and then oh, they'll right. put this whole thing that I was we're changing. How the whole thing worked. Okay. Put it in the form of a warrant because you're not going to hand you no know, right. town meeting a book. Correct. So um, this is going to be this is going to be broken down into one very simple thing in the in the town warrant that doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And then do we go, have to go present this? Oh, somebody usually talk one about one it. of us will speak if if That's asked. You, you were and, and to to no way you, to you, answer I, questions. I oh, Sabre's good then. Sabre's going to do it. I can't um, speak well. Done. But Jim can do it if he's there. Sabre's going to do it. I'll be there for moral support. I'll give free tomatoes to the crowd. I'll be there back. for moral support. Yeah. Cherry tomatoes. I like the cherry tomatoes. Um, <laughs> and slingshots. No, no, but I'm going to. I'm going to. Informational summary that you have here. I'm going to rewrite it. I was going to say because right. it, it includes things that we're not doing. Okay, right. so so you're going to. So the so first this bullet is basically point. Basically, condensing everything that we're going to want. Right. The first play. bullet point will have to change because the only thing we're changing is the hardship variance. So that whole thing comes out. Which okay, so will you will you do this when you change the informational summary, get it to where you want it to be? Would you send a copy to Mary? Actually, a copy to all of uh -huh. us. And um, uh, if you don't have Marianne's email, I can give it to you, or Marianne can give it to you before you go. So oh, which okay. one did you say you would get rid of right away? Well, the first one, because we're not doing buffer zones and buffer strips. So I just changed that to, uh, you know. Like uh, a no disturb. Strengthen, strengthening the, uh, you know, making the hardship variance. Mm -hmm. Creating a hardship variance for the 65-foot buffer zone. Right. Uh, and, and making it an absolute no yeah. disturb, yeah. Yeah. which it isn't now. Right. Something like that, right? But yeah, I think the others are are uh, are okay. Yeah. Is there anything in the current bylaws that tells them they have to make the mark the boundaries on the land or the 65 foot like we make them by the the markers? Is that in here? Oh, you mean with the po our posts and stuff? Yeah. No, we we just kind of. We can't go and telling people they got to buy these little signposts. We're kind of just doing that. Is that something we need to put in the bylaws? Yeah, they not in the bylaws. That's that's regulations. That's that's an order of conditions. Yeah. Yeah. And that that and the and the regulations you don't have to go to town meeting no, for right those can no. we can, can, can you know we can change them together those. as we want. Yeah, that's something we've kind of been throwing in because we bought the we ended up buying the plaques a while ago and we said oh you yeah, have we some. Need, yeah we found places where they so need we just it. told people Simple now little. we tell people we can put no, it. No, I'm good. I'm good with that. And nobody seems to complain. No, <laughs> they better not. Jamie Emerson puts them in. If Jamie puts mm. them in, then yeah, that's right. <laughs> Well, it's because Jamie knows he's going to come back here with another project. He, he's kissing, he's kissing our butt right now. I'll tell you. Oops, mm. I didn't say that. Mm. So, the only ones that give you a hard time are the ones that are coming in for a one-time permit. They're never going to step foot in town hall ever again. And then they get all they can get. But the, the ones that are going to keep with coming us back, I know. work with planning. They do all they can to make it work. I know. It's so if you get a chance, read through the other stuff that we're not acting on this year. All right. So we can I, think about it for. Yeah. I like and I was thinking too. I don't know if you put Thanks anything for in all there. That in. Um, you know how Situ did, did the. Well. You know if they do if they have to allow something within the fifty, right? Say they. Yeah. For one reason or another. Well, they, they make yes. the person do you know a buffer zone restoration plan? Did you read all that? That's. You know you could do something like that. Like if you're gonna if you have to alter. Uh, you know, 50 square feet in the in the 65 foot buffer. Then you got to go plant an area of, of you know. Okay, I'll look. Do some kind of restoration or something. You know what they yeah. have if they do have to. Uh, quick FYI before we adjourn, Godfrey Circle. Uh, they cleared it. Who? Godfrey Circle. They cleared it. That new lot. Okay. Oh. But they didn't put any protection on. Really? Really. I was going to talk about that. I just drove by it. Twice. Really? When you say protection. That's uh, the Steve Bullock, the guy who did the doggy mall. Yeah, but what what protection uh, were we? Yeah, uh, put on uh, uh, erosion control. Erosion control. Okay. Oh. And all of that. Yeah. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. 
I'll put, go take a look and tell him. Unless he maybe uh, could he, but you I know walked. how sometimes they have to if they I walked right out there. If they they can't put up the erosion controls till they cut. In other words, they can't get in there to put up the controls until they mm. cut. That does happen sometimes, though. Well, we can because if it's it. all forested, you can't put the hay bales, you know, like in between the trees and stuff. You kind of have to clear an area to put the hay bales. So I think that may be maybe what the so case in there. I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah. All right, do. I'll keep an eye on it. If they start building, there's no erosion. No. Oh yeah. Stop. No, but I think I think that was one of the ones where he he, he wasn't able to put up the erosion controls because it was so thickly forested, you know what I mean? So he needed to yeah. cut, almost cut a strip to put the erosion controls. They got it all cleared. I yeah. mean, they didn't leave a tree. Yeah, he, I know. He's the one that, yeah. We gave him a hard time. He got mad at us. Now, Mariana, are you going to give all these changes to Brooke? Or do you want you me to You usually send this? me the, you know, minutes. Then yeah, I can look at them. I'll, I'll, I'll make the changes on the document. I'll send you the original document electronically. And then, but the changes we discussed tonight, I'll send you a new document okay. that you can give to Michael. I'll send it to everybody. Right. So you, but, but with only the stuff so that we want to do this, stuff we're doing this year. Print up the minutes. Okay. It's going to be pretty informal. Anything that I have 2019 town meeting, I will add to the meeting minutes. Okay. I'm going to go home and do it. That's yeah. good. It's just easy. I can take yeah. the wind and yeah. it. Okay. So the rest of it we can just like, yeah. And what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll do the right. same thing. Everything okay. that's this year only, I will remain will remain in this and okay. I'll take everything else out. So we have a record right. of it. That's and all. just so that it doesn't yeah. look like we're, you know, like, like that, that was one of the things is if, if there's all this tons of stuff, don't you know, don't try to get it on. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. He right. was like, so don't We're do talking anything. about that at the Economic Development Task Force to keep in that initial. Right thing as simplified as possible without it trying to be overwhelming and overreaching because you know we don't we don't want to make it look like we're trying to be the Gestapo right and then and the more you give them the, the, the less likely they are to prove anything right? if it gets too confusing it gets too everybody's confusing gonna go oh my god what are they want what are they doing vote it down. yeah what's conservation doing oh my god doing yeah. all these things I, I wanted to say that uh, I meant to get enough of these books that I could give everybody a copy of them it's a book about from Al Gore, who everybody knows very well as being an uh, overinflated balloon. Al However, uh, overinflated he, uh, balloon. <laughs> yeah, he of course he's a nice way to put it, didn't he? Uh, but it does it graphically lays out the reasons for supporting solar power as the answer to the best answer to climate change, and uh, it, it talks very well about it. So I, I gave a copy to the. Uh, Carver Library and a copy to the high school, put it in this high school library. But I think it would help you if want all us all of us to have them. copies. Yeah. And so hopefully within the next few days, I'll get some others and be able to uh, pass them out to everybody. Good for the me next meeting. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you could pass them out to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> like all the Pine Ridge people. Yeah, all the Pine Ridge people. <laughs> yeah. They'll have them floating on the lake. Especially <laughs> that guy in number one. Mm. I would make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Okay. Uh, it's been moved and seconded to adjourn. I think that would be pretty good because I, I, I was just getting We're nervous voting. because when I... Aye. 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 Aye.